Hi, I'm Garth McKenzie from traderscorner.co.za. This is your weekly look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ indices. So I'm starting with a bigger picture look at the S&P 500. This is a weekly chart of the S&P 500 index here. And the reason I'm looking at this weekly chart is just to try and understand from a bigger picture perspective where this market could potentially run to uh, based on some Fibonacci projections. Now, the weekly reversal candle that I alluded to two weeks ago, and I thought that would be the beginning of a period of some mild consolidation for the market. That hasn't really been the case at all. In fact, the market has just continued to tear upwards. And um, as a result of that, we've got to look at some pre higher projections possibly for this market. So the 4,000 level on the S&P 500 is now within reach. It's now only about one and a half percent away from where the market's currently trading. So it almost seems like it would be rude not to go and test 4,000. But also it's quite possible that the market maybe projects a little bit beyond that round figure as well if the bulls continue to stampede here. If I look at a Fibonacci projection and I take the distance of the entire crash that we saw in February and March of last year, and project the 161.8% projection up from that distance. It gives us a price target of around about 4,100 for the S&P. So I think that's where we could potentially go to in the not too distant future if the bulls continue to stampede on this market as they are at the moment. Let's then take a look at the daily chart and have a look at what we're seeing there. This just shows the trading activity in a little bit more detail. And what's clear here is that very clean, clear, linear upward channel that has been intact for the last three months and remains intact. We saw a little bit of a false break to the downside at the end of January, but that market very quickly recovered back inside that channel. And as a result, that was a false break and we see the market continuing to the upside. So whilst that's the case, whilst this upward channel is intact, and whilst the market is above all the moving averages, there's no reason to get bearish about it. It still looks as if the bulls have got the wind in their sails and want to take this market higher. And as I said, 4,000 is around the corner for the S&P 500 now. And lastly, on this index, let's take a look at the hourly chart. And here you can see the most recent trading activity through the month of February on the S&P 500. What's evident over the last few days is that the market's been range bound between 38.90 and about 39.25. We're projecting a big gap to the upside when the market resumes trading today after yesterday's President's Day holiday, and that'll push the market up to new all-time highs. And as mentioned previously, it looks as if 4,000 is on the cards here for the S&P 500, which would be a really big round figure. And as I said on the bigger chart, one could possibly project a move even towards 4,100 based on the Fibonacci projections. So let's then take a look at the NASDAQ. And here we can also see on the daily chart of the NASDAQ that this index continues to trend higher in a very well-defined linear fashion. Quite a nice neat channel evident over there. And whilst the market is above all the moving averages and whilst that channel is intact, one's got to maintain a bullish bias here. And again, here we're talking about round numbers. It looks as if 14,000 is just a hop and a skip away for the NASDAQ at this point in time. So 14,000 looks as if it's coming up. Let's then take a look at the hourly chart finally of this NASDAQ index. And here you can see recently, uh, again, some bumping up against resistance at 13,750, but a big gap to the upside is projected when the market opens today. And again, that break to the upside would project a higher target. And it looks as if 14,000 is the level that's coming up, the big round figure that's coming up for the NASDAQ. So all in all, these charts still do look pretty bullish. There's nothing to not like about them for the time being. Whilst the markets are above all the moving averages, we've got to maintain a bullish bias. And it looks as if we're going to see some big round numbers being met in the week ahead, that being 4,000 on the S&P 500 and 14,000 on the NASDAQ. I'll be back again next week with another look at both of these indices.